Trump making a stop in Tampa today working to talk about jobs. But of course he'll also do some campaigning as we inch closer to the all-important midterm election. We all got here two o'clock yesterday, we're one, two, and three online, and we're pumped. So, you know, the first midterms for any president are always going to be very difficult. Uh, it's an uphill battle. Uh, people feel like, the people that supported the president feel like that, that they've won something. Um, autographed pictures of President Trump and written personally to each one of us a certain message. And then we got put in his scrapbook. Doors open for general admission here at the Florida State Fairgrounds for that rally starting today at 4 p.m. I voted for Trump. I voted for him and I, I'm sorry I gave everybody an apology. I voted for him and it won't happen again. Air Force One is landing at 520, putting the president right in the middle of rush hour. You know what I love about him is that he is so honest and he is so direct. And the fact that he made himself a full life and created his life and he's a true entrepreneur. As Air Force One arrives around 5 to 5.30, 50 percent chance for scattered showers and storms, so it's going to be tough. There will be storms in the area that may impact the whole timeline. Temperatures here on 86 degrees. Chanting has started and it is still filling up inside this expo hall right now. This month, and eight total since the uh, end of May, there is no other way to describe what the White House is doing these days. Your top officials, including the president, are hiding from the press. And Wolf, just to give you a sense as to what's happening right now, you can hear there is a chorus of boos and other chants from this Trump crowd here in Tampa, Florida. They're saying things like CNN sucks, go home, and fake news. <laughs> speeches, wouldn't you think? And here's one thing I'll tell you. If they don't get ratings, those speeches don't go on, doesn't matter. Look how many they have back there. They just can't get enough. They can't get enough. Only American citizens should vote in American elections.
which is why the time has come for voter ID, like everything else. Voter ID. You know, if you go out and you want to buy groceries, you need a picture on a card. You need ID. The president of Mexico said they will not, under any circumstances, pay for the wall. They said to me, what is your comment? I said, the wall just got 10 feet higher. There's been no nuclear testing. There's been no missiles or rockets flying beautifully over Japan. I think our relationship is very good with Chairman Kim, and we'll all see how it all works out, but there's nothing like talking, and we'll see how it is. You remember when I first took office? It really looked like big trouble. He's not acting presidential, and I'd say, well, it's a lot easier to act presidential than to do what I do. <laughs> Anybody can act president. <laughs> Ladies, and gentlemen of the state of Florida, thank you very much for being here. You are tremendous people. And I will leave now because I am boring you to death. Thank you.